walking away from another Holiday Inn. Um, had two zeros there at the Holiday Inn in Grants and have about 110 miles or something like that to Cuba, New Mexico. That's my next stop. Today's goal is to get in position to climb Mount Taylor tomorrow. Mount Taylor is a prominent peak in this state. And I'm gonna get close to that. So we gotta walk through town first and then get on the trail. So here it goes, back into the woods. A lot of hotels are out of business in this town. A lot of things are out of business. There's the prison. Dog brain said to wave to the prisoners. I think that's kind of like rattling a dog's cage, so I'm not gonna wave. But I will look over there and wonder what it's like to be locked up like an animal. It must suck. I don't think I could live like that. That's why I try to stay out of trouble. Getting out of town is always hard, and especially when you have a road walk like that one to get you back on the trail. But I'm finally at the trailhead, and the train is gonna be very unroad-like, it looks like. That's a pretty neat thing on the gate here. So there's Grants down there. But I just reached the top of the hill and it's big, flat. I guess this is what they call a mesa. Very flat and open up here. Interesting. Maybe I'll take my lunch here. Look at Grants for a little while. Great views of Mount Taylor. Sometimes you just find random things in weird places. In this case, it's an old rusted out charcoal grill in the middle of nowhere. I might be wrong, but I thought Naked Hiking Day was in June, but I just ran into somebody going south on the trail that was definitely naked. And I stood there and had a conversation with him. Never acknowledged that he was naked. He never acknowledged it. He had a backpack, socks, and boots on. And he was very tan, like no tan lines. Uh, that was a little weird, but then again, not so weird, I guess, for the trail. <laughs> I'm glad that I wasn't a female because that definitely would have been awkward. So anyway, thought I'd let you know about that. Sometimes you see barbecue grills out here. Sometimes you just see naked people. You never know.
It's six o'clock and I made it to the spot I was planning on camping at. Set up my tent a little bit away from the water source so as not to disturb wildlife and to get off the road a little bit. But let's go check it out and see what this water source looks like. Not bad. I've definitely seen worse. I can see the bottom. There's no dead critters in there. Water's flowing in, water's flowing out. Good source. I hung my food again. It's seven o'clock this morning. Just hitting the trail now. Got a good night's sleep last night. Nobody else camped here at the water trough. Very quiet, kind of lonely. But um, I wanted to update you on my mattress saga. It's no go. <laughs> I have a new one coming to, um, uh, where's the convenience scent? Uh, Ghost Ranch. So I, I'm carrying my leaky one and it'll hold air for about 30 minutes. I filled it up twice last night. Um, I might just throw it away the next trash can I find. But I had a nice flat site, so it was still comfortable and I slept good. And it is nice laying on it when you first lay down and it's full, it does feel really good. So I'm usually asleep by the time it's completely deflated. So I have about 3.4 to the top of Mount Taylor. You're probably going to see some snow up there. I wanted to get up there before the snow started to melt. It's easier to walk on top. I'm pretty excited. First 10,000 foot plus peak on the trip. <clears throat> First of many. So we'll see what the day holds. I got 17 miles yesterday. Something like that. 17 or 18. Which is exactly what I need to get to Cuba by Tuesday. So it's Friday right now. So we'll talk later. Getting up there. We've already walked through some small patches of snow. Love being in the forest like this again. That desert's hard on me. This is amazing up here. <clears throat> Let me spin you around. I think the summit is up there or maybe that other point with the snow. But look at the views up here. So Mount Taylor is 11,301. Just for the record, it's May 12th. And this is the first snow, significant snow I've encountered. Gotta be getting close. Made it to the top. Let me show you the views. Quite a bit of snow on the north side and the trees and stuff. But it's just incredible up here. It was a hard climb, but it was worth it. I could feel the elevation. <clears throat> Definitely sucking wind up here.
getting down this first little bit will be fun. There's still snow up here on the north side in the shade, oh, but I can walk on it. I'm not too late, but I am going to have to put my phone away to do this safely. It's going to be a matter of finding the trail, climbing over piles of snow, finding the trail. So it turns out it's not really climbing over piles so much as it is just walking on the snow. There's pretty much continuous snowpack where I am right now. <clears throat> Occasionally I fall in up to my waist. <laughs> not too often. But that's why I got to keep moving before this stuff gets even softer. That snow was quick though. As soon as the uh, trail flipped over to the south side into an open area, no more snow. But you can see where it came from. There's the summit up there. I think I'm out of the snow. We'll see. I've driven on some pretty sketchy roads during my career as a forester, but honestly, glad I'm not driving this one. It's kind of scary just walking it. <laughs> There's the peak of uh, um, Taylor Mountain back there. Unbelievable scenery. So nice. Still going up this road. headed into those trees over there. It's a little after four o'clock and I was really tired, thirsty, hungry, you name it. <laughs> Needed a break. So I decided to cook dinner trail side. Um, I'll cook dinner, eat dinner, and then move on and find camp. Hopefully near some water, but cooking mac and cheese. And I'll drop some chicken in there. I just collected two quarts of water from this pond. Not the greatest water, but it's clear. So now I can kind of move on and camp wherever I feel like it. There's another water source, probably not a very good one, in about a mile and a half. So we'll see how far I go. This is going to be my camp for the night. Um, that was a long day over Mount Taylor. I think I got about 15 miles, but when you consider the um, all the elevation gain and loss, that's pretty good. So, sun setting back here, and I'm going to be in my tent shortly. See you tomorrow. So even though I hiked 15 miles, I think the actual CDT was shorter, so it was about 13. So I really only got 13 trail miles. I was on the Mount Taylor alternate all day and it was well worth it. So just wanted to make that distinction though.